Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you how I organize my business files. If you're a small business owner and you struggle with how to organize your files, I hope this video will be helpful. So let's jump right in. So friends, let me first clarify. The files that I'm talking about today are my business files, general business files. These are not client files or anything like that. I can do that in a separate video, but these are the basics that you need as a small business owner. And so I am all about the binder system. I use it for my home files or you know organizing my home files but I also love them for my business files several years ago I worked at a school in the United Kingdom as a registrar and they had the binder system for keeping files I fell in love with it ever since and I have incorporated not only into my business but my home so it really functions well it's really an efficient way because it helps keep everything in order it's easy to put away and it's easy when you're trying to access information information to get it along with if I ever have to pass that on to uh, anybody such as an accountant to bookkeep or anything it makes it really simple so one thing I want to do is show you the actual file first okay friends so my binder of choice for my business is the Martha Stewart binders I get them at Staples I love them because they look very professional they're very neutral color they're durable they have this leather like feel to them I also like to have them labeled with the plates that I also get from Staples. They're the little, um, they come in, I wanna say three in a pack, but they make it so efficient so that it's simple to label the binders and they're just really neat and, and very efficient looking and they function great. And I just love these little metal plates and they have an adhesive on the back that is very durable. And so once you put it on, it basically stays on. So you wanna make sure that um, you put it exactly where you want it, but it, it really helps to keep it efficient. And so now I wanna take you through and share with you each of the binders and their purpose. So the first one here is for my business documents, such as my business license, any insurance, um, insurances that I have for the business and all of those types of documents I keep in one binder. Now I do keep my LLC documents in another binder because there's so many papers and information, but they do categorize under business documents. So I do technically have two folder, uh, two binders rather for that. Another one is for my state taxes. Now I like splitting up my state and federal tax binders uh, because I just find that it's easier especially when you have employees and you're, and, and you're paying different taxes for your payroll and different things like that so I like keeping all of the information separately especially you will find when you're starting a business there's a lot of different forms a lot of different um, things that you have to kind of um, adhere to and you want to just make sure to have all of them um, in the appropriate appropriate binder so that you can easily get to it and that's what it is for me um, I need to be able to easily get to this information to see it and the great thing about it is I don't handle my books so that's it's wonderful uh, so I don't have to really worry about kind of keeping up with all the technical things I just need um, basic information to follow up on what I need to follow up on and so that's what the purpose of the binder is for me and so that's why I have my state taxes and my federal taxes both divided up Okay, so my next two binders are my accounts payable and my accounts receivable. And so I love having these in two separate binders because I can easily identify what I owe out compared to what I am getting in. And so again, all of my uh, information and things, my, my finances with the business are managed through QuickBooks by someone else. So I do not have to worry about that. But the great thing about having my binders is I easily have a place to go to to see in a quick way what I should be receiving and what I should be paying out. And then if I see any discrepancies or anything, I can go to uh, my bookkeeper and then get that figured out. So it works great for me. And the next one I have is for my suppliers, a binder for all of my suppliers. And so that is all of my binders there. Very efficient and very simple. And you will notice I have folders in the back. And these are my employee files. So these are the files that I keep for all of my employees and I have this covered up for confidentiality reasons so you can go with the little card there. But I do want to take you inside the files to show you how I have it set up because I really feel like if you are one that's going to start having employees this really can be helpful to you. I absolutely love the different dividers. It really helps me keep things organized which, with each one of my team members. So when I look into the file, the first thing that I always want to be able to see is just their general contact information in case I ever need to call them for any reason at home or in case of an emergency. So in the different sections here, I have it broken down into different areas. 
areas, so such as performance and things like that. But in the first opening here, right here, and I have paper over here to cover, again, information, I have that basic emergency contact form, and that way it has all of their information so that if I ever need to get to it quickly, as soon as I open the file, it's right there. I also keep things like their resume here. Any of that initial employee paperwork is kept right here in the front. Right on the side here is where I keep all of their performance-based information. So I love keeping this section here, especially the you know as we're working in things and they do something that really is commendable and stuff like that. I like to kind of put it right here so that when we meet or when it's time to evaluate performance, I have the information all here. And so that information keeps it stays right here on this side here. So now on the other side is where I keep all of the disclosures. This is where they sign their ethics form. This is all of those initial um, things that I have them sign off on. They are kept on this side, side here so that I can easily access them if I need them. And it's just good to have these all in one place. I have things like um, social media um, disclosures they have to sign and um, ethical uh, forms that they have to sign that I put there. And then I have their monthly meeting um, outlines here. So this is where all of our monthly meeting notes go. And then on the back here is where all of their payroll information goes, um, such as their, you know, W-2 forms, their pay stubs, W-4 forms and stuff. I have copies of it here that I get from my bookkeeper. So that is what is kept in their employee file. And again, everything is categorized so that it's really easy to get to. And so this has been such an efficient way for me to manage this type of information. So as far as the binder, what I use is just the plastic sleeve. I use those simple plastic sleeves that you can get from any office supply store, such as um, Staples and Office Depot. And so that's how I kind of organize the different sections here. And depending on what the purpose is for the binder, I do have it uh, kind of labeled by with repositionable tabs, um, breaking up the different sections. Some of them do not require that, so um, I won't have you know extra labels in there. But if it does, I will keep them in there. So just a very very simple process, nothing uh, too convoluted as far as how I maintain uh, these binders. And another quick thing is that always get a lockable file cabinet, especially with your employees' files and things like that. You always want to be able to keep your business files secure. So that's one feature that I feel is a must with your file cabinet. So friends, that's my basic setup. I hope that you have found it helpful. I also want to put it out there that I do virtual organizing sessions for not only your home, but also for your business. So if you're a small business owner and you want my help organizing your business, I can work with you no matter where your location is. So definitely contact me. If if you're interested in finding more about my services, I would love to work with you and uh, give you more information. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you a part of the At Work With Nikki family. Please click that subscribe button and also that like button if you enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.